Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast <laughs> Show. And in this segment of Breaking Truckers, we're looking at TikTokers. Time is Money TV. They have about 25K followers. They are the celebrity car haulers. In this clip that we're about to look at, man, they got hemmed up in Georgia, the great state of Georgia. So they was pulled over for what looks to be a DOT inspection. Now, these are hot shotters, you know, and the difference between hot shotters and semi truckers is the fact that these guys can get a pickup truck or a set of duallys on the back. And what means and what duallys means is, you know, double, you know, double tires on the back. And then they set the truck up with uh, with any type of trailer. It could be anywhere from a flatbed trailer to a car haul type of trailer. And in this in this particular situation, they are calling cars. The dogs was called out and it indicated that it has smelt drugs in one of the cars. And the guy that's explaining was kind of figuring out that you know, that the DOT officer is doing an illegal search. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. I'm here in Georgia. TMT Thomas Money Auto Transport, Inc. Me and my brother's company. Police pulled us over for no reason. And um, they got a dog out. The dog didn't even bark or nothing. They say the dog, by sitting, staring, or laying down, the dog indicates that it senses narcotics in the vehicle. So they're doing an illegal search with the, with that, which I did not consent to, to a vehicle that was on my trailer. So I took the vehicle down and um, now they're searching, claiming that the dog indicated that it smelled narcotics within the vehicle. I do not own the vehicle. I'm only transporting the vehicle. And I did not give consent for them to search the vehicle. So I figured I'd go live just in case, you know, any foolishness happen. We in uh, somewhere around LaGrange, Georgia, uh, heading to drop off this load, which was going to North Carolina. So they're just going through this person's vehicle, customer, we paid to have their vehicle shipped. Currently going through it, looking for something. I have no idea what. Um, but they claim that by the dog staring, sitting, or laying down, that indicates that it smells something. Now, I, th I thought a dog would sit down on command. So you could command a dog to sit down, but he says a dog sitting down means that they indicated that there's something within the vehicle. The dog, the officer indicated that the dog sitting down <laughs> indicates that it smells something. This is Georgia State Patrol. That's one of the reasons why I don't live in Georgia no more. They're always messing with somebody, man. You know, for nothing. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in equipment with us. We're going to put all that in jeopardy for something, some narcotics. What is that going to do for us? You know what I mean? But nonetheless, you're guilty until proven innocent. The thing is, we got to bear patiently and persist throughout the struggle and keep fighting and never let them take your rights away. Besides that, here comes the dog again. Uh, supposedly, they found some marijuana residue inside of a vehicle that we are transporting. They say because the dog sat down, that indicated that the dog noticed something within the vehicle. How does that make sense? You can make a dog sit down whenever you want to. So they searched the whole vehicle. They found a marijuana roach in the vehicle and say blah, 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 whatever they want to say. But uh, either way, when I got that camera out, they start acting a little different and a little more friendly. Now, what they gonna do with the roaches? They, gonna, they threw it away. I mean, they gonna let the car go or what? Yeah, the car's, the car's free. So, the car's so, free. Yeah, the so we just gonna get out of here with a ticket. What we're gonna do right here is go back. Way back, back into time. So this reminds me of the story, <laughs> of the very funny story that Alley Cat told us when she was going through the border patrol up under the same situation, a dog came up to her truck. It notified the, the, the border patrol of narcotics. 
And I'll let her tell the story from here. Sarita, Sarita, Texas. Tell, oh, yeah. tell the story. Um, okay, so kind of good boy of her job for the first time, 77, heading back to where the hell was I going? Um, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, first time through Border Patrol, I pull in and shit, I'm all excited seeing the dogs and shit, like, ah, oh, this is cool. Pull up, the guy asks me, where am I going? I told him I was going somewhere. What are you carrying? Carrying something. He's like, oh, okay, cool. Well, you see that number two over there? Go ahead and pull over there. I'm like, for what? He's like, the dog sit on your truck. He's like, I'm like, okay, you know, I just carried a food grade load. The fucking trailer smells like pepperoni. That's probably what he smells. I'm in the office and, you know, talking to the lady. He comes back in. He's like, okay, I need you to be honest with me. Do you smoke marijuana? I'm like, no. He's like, mm, are, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Are you, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, but probably not if I smoke weed. You know what I mean? He's like, well, I'm just asking because some of the drivers come through. They're like, honest. They tell me, you know, that helps them sleep. Only thing they need to <laughs> sleep is a dude. fucking bed. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool on that. So anyway, he's like, well, the dog's on your truck underneath your bed, so we're going to have to go inside, and we're going to have to search. Maybe by all means, do you ball out, have fun. So they go inside of my truck. I'm still there. I was there for a total of about an hour or so, 45 minutes, an hour. Anyway, he comes back in, and he's like, uh, are you an owner? I'm like, nah, I'm a company driver. He's like, uh... So how long have you been with the company? I'm like, shit, about two and a half weeks. He says, okay, well, I'm going to let you know this. Um, you know, you're not going to get a ticket. I'm not going to write it up. But as soon as possible, you need to go ahead and um, give that truck a thorough cleaning. And I'm like, cleaning for what? Underneath the bed, underneath the mat, he found a fucking bud. The size of a nickel. <laughs> so not, a, not a nickel bag of weed. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Pull out a fucking nickel, look at it, and that's how big that butt was. I said, so wait a minute. You're trying to tell me that that dog smelled that butt underneath the mat, underneath the bed, from so the outside of the fucking truck? Yes. Yes, yes, that's what he said. I said, well, Fifi Fido, whoever the fuck the dog's name is, <laughs> needs dog of the year because ain't no motherfucker. I sleep on this bed every night, never smelt that shit ever. But the dog did. So, yeah, if you're going through, be careful because they are out there searching and they got super dogs. <laughs> I know what it is. All right, guys, what do you think? Leave your comments in the comments below. Do you think the search was illegal or not? But I, I'm going to simply say I don't believe that it was illegal, considering the fact that if you're driving a commercial vehicle and a dog was called out and it sniffed drugs, it gives them probable cause to search the vehicle you know, that the dog indicated that it was narcotics in. Um, on top of that, the guy in the video says he did not give consent for the search, but you took the car down and put it on the ground, which indicating consent to the search. <laughs> but in any case, in any case, he said, he also said that the dog indicated by looking, sitting down, or laying down. Dog staring, sitting, or laying down, that indicates that it smells something. That's Those are the indicators that the dogs are trained to do. They don't necessarily have to bark or anything like that. If they come across uh, any type of scent, they're going to they're going to indicate that by sitting, staring or laying down by by the part where they smell the uh the scent at. So, yeah, that that is a thing, my guy. That is a thing. All right, guys. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm not sure if they found anything cuz all right, that's going to do it for this segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Men Podcast.